Is this really going over TV right now? Uh -huh. It John is. Wayne in the Are you kidding? Well, how about that? John Wayne, here, Mom. <laughs> Here's John Wayne. Yo. Well, I'll tell you something out there in TV land. <laughs> I'm hamming it up. <laughs> I'll tell you. So, anyway, man, I never, I can't believe it on television, is that really. Where you're from, Beaver? Yeah, I'm from Beaver. Yeah, yeah. Can you do any more invitations? Uh, do you know Rocky? Sylvester Stallone? Yeah, do that one. Okay, you know what I mean? You know Rocky Sylvester Stallone, you know? He's got a coach named Mickey, you know what I mean? He's a good guy, you know? He knows his fight. He knows his left from his right. He knows his left toe from his right toe, you know? He's a good fighter, you know? He's a, he's a good guy, and he loves his wife, Adrian, you know? <laughs> so, anyway, I love it up here, though. I was just taking some pictures of Sky 2 over there, and, man, it's really fantastic out here. I love it. I love it up here. I love impersonating, and my gosh, if I made the tube, I just thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> I really do. <laughs> so, boy, I can't believe this. This is actual live, huh? Well, it's not going out yet, but it will. Are you taping it then, or? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> when can I see this? <laughs> I'll go home and watch it and say, boy, wow. Hey, Mom, I got on the set today, you know. <laughs> Uh, what do I do? Well, I'm kind of the beaver rich little. That's what I do. I do a lot of performing. See, uh, Olivia Newton-John, I sing like her, but I haven't got any backup, so I haven't better do that. And Barry Manilow, have you ever heard Barry Manilow talk? Uh -huh. uh, Barry Manilow has written a lot of songs. He uh, writes the songs to make the whole world sing. And uh, he did one named Mandy, and I Cannot Smile Without You. And uh, the guy is really intriguing. I love the man the most, and I really like his style of music. So I more or less uh, kind of develop my voice, I guess, a little bit so I could sound like him. <laughs> I sing like him too. That's what's going to happen on the PM show also. I can sing like uh, Barry Manilow. So uh, that's old Barry. <laughs> so, <laughs> boy, I love having it up. You can tell. Boy, I'm on TV. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Just in the right place at the right time, I guess. Wow, that's what great. What goes on in Beaver? What goes on in Beaver? It's just kind of a town where you drag Maine at night, go to school in the daytime. I'm not in school now, but I used to be. I'm 21 now, so just kind of out working for the Union Pacific Railroad, you know. Any good stories in Beaver? Any good stories in Beaver? Well, I can't think any right off the bat. Uh, I just know a lot of people there that are real special. I really do. And uh, I really do. They're really special to me. A lot of them are. And so, but Beaver, not much goes on in there. It's just kind of a town where either you drag Maine or you go watch too. <laughs> because I sure do. <laughs> I really do. I really do. I love it up here. And I love KETV, man. I've been with them ever since they, you know, well, I've been with them on the set. Face it, I haven't actually come up here. But, uh, boy, I'd like to get a picture of you. That'd be great. Uh, you that... take picture of me taking picture. Well, I don't, would that be all right? Sure. Okay. Uh, let's see. Am I on three I'll here? Okay, hang on to your mic there, but, bud. <laughs> Let's see, did I get that not? Okay, gotta go to four. Okay, smile, you're on candid camera. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Oh, man, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your air time, but really. Yeah, that was great. Hey, all right, well, I can't believe it. <laughs> well, my day has come, it's shining. I doubt if I'll ever get into TV, but here's my crack at it, you know. Hello, people, here I am. <laughs> Hello, Utah. <laughs> uh, but old Farah, she's right over here. It's a little white 64 Chevrolet Impala. I've had her about two years now. And it's funny because the lady is, it's like a car, the car is a human being. Don't get me wrong, I'm not crazy. But anytime I get a gorgeous blonde in my car, the next thing I know is the car starts missing or the lights start to dim, the horn starts to stick. <laughs> it's really the truth though. A car doesn't like blonde women. I don't know. Must be in love with me. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but this is old Farah. Which one? And she's a little dirty for TV, but the little white one right here. The little 64 Chevy. Oh. <laughs> and my handle's Groovin' Gary. Channel 19 through 23. Qualification wow. loves Farah. And I'll show you the inside real fast, okay? <sighs> it's kind of junky. Hang on, let me kind of straighten it up before I get on the tube. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see. Take two. Throw my stuff out of here. So. Anyway, I, I just, it's just like wall to wall, what have you, you know? It's like a couch and stuff and everything, but 
Well, I sure hope this makes extra. <laughs> oh, I love it, though. I've got, what, your AM, FM, 8-track, the whole setup. But uh, it's my little car. Oh, I've got the uh, engravings. Oops, excuse me. A friend of mine did the engravings of Farrah Fawcett and then wrote like Farrah. On the, now, it's really dirty. It's really dirty. It's kind of dirty. And, uh, but uh, he did a doggone good job on it. And then... On the other side, Livy Newton John's even in on the other side. I says, uh, I says, if if I make something, if something happens. To